wonder how, when a basketball player throws the ball, it will eventually end up at the hoop. Perhaps it could have gone somewhere off from the hoop, back, forth, down or even towards the basketball player himself. Hi, I'm Madam Jane and I will be explaining the theory behind the scenario just now known as projectile motion. Welcome to my class. But before proceeding into projectile motion, let's analyse the two types of motion. To begin, let's first discuss the vertical motion. Say an object is thrown in an upward direction, here we can see that in the upward motion of the object, the initial velocity is maximum. This is because maximum force is exerted on the object when it is thrown. Velocity decreases with time as the object gains height, this is due to air resistance and gravity acting on the object. Velocity of the object is zero at maximum height. Then, the object starts to fall downwards. In the downward motion, the initial velocity of the object is zero, velocity of the object increases as the object falls due to downward force of gravity and the velocity of the object reaches its maximum just before hitting the ground. In horizontal motion or linear motion, object moves with constant velocity. An object moving along the horizontal direction will eventually stop due to frictional forces such as air resistance and ground friction. However, ideally if we were to neglect the frictional forces, the object would not stop and would continue moving with constant velocity. With the fundamentals laid out, what is projectile motion? Projectile motion is an object moving along a curved path under the influence of gravity. An object shoot through the air is called projectile, and the path travelled by the projectile is called trajectory or parabolic path. There are two types of projectile motion, the one-dimensional projectile motion and the two-dimensional projectile motion. The motion of the falling object in a straight line is considered as a simple one-dimensional projectile motion, while the motion of an object in a horizontal and vertical axis simultaneously is known as a two-dimensional projectile motion. As the motion along the perpendicular axis are independent of one another, it can be analysed separately where the horizontal axis is known as the x-axis whereas the vertical axis is known as the y-axis. In the horizontal motion of projectile motion, the horizontal velocity is constant since there is no change in the state of the object as no force is acting on the object in the horizontal direction. Since there are no horizontal forces acting on the projectile, thus, there is no acceleration in the x direction as well. In the vertical motion of the projectile motion, the vertical component changes as vertical motion is affected by the gravitational forces acting in the vertical direction. There is vertical acceleration caused by gravity with a value of 9.81 m per second squared. Thus, vertical velocity of a projectile changes by 9.81 m per second for each second. Remember, in horizontal x direction, Ax equals to zero, hence velocity is constant. However, on the vertical y direction, A equals to negative g, where g is negative 9.81 m per second squared, and velocity changes by 9.81 m per second for each second. Congratulations! Now we have covered projectile motion fully, let's discuss an example. In this example, a 2 meter height basketball player shot the ball towards the hoop mounted 3 meters above. If the ball thrown 6 meters away from the hoop with an angle of 45 degrees, calculate the initial release velocity, the time as it passes the hoop, and the angle of the ball as it passes the hoop. Alright, time to recall your kinematic equations. To find initial velocity, apply kinematics in x direction to find the time equation first. By applying x equals x0 plus v x0 t, we know that initial position of the basketball player in x direction is zero. The initial velocity has two components since it has an angle where the x direction vx equals v0 cos theta and in the y direction vy equals v0 sin theta. Substituting vx equals v0 cos theta, now we have the time equation t equals x over v0 cos theta. Apply kinematic equation in y direction involves time. Remember, in y direction, vy equals v0 sin theta. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 m per second squared, and our finding t equals x over v0 cos theta. Substitute all the values and now we can easily solve the release velocity equals to 8.404 m per second. 
for b, to find the time, we use back the time equation we derived earlier, which is t equals x over v0 cos theta, and by substituting the final position, x equals to 6 meters, and release velocity, 8.404 meter per second, we can find time equals 1 second approximately. Thirdly, to find the angle of the ball as it goes down the hoop, use the kinematic equation in x and y direction by keeping the unknown as final velocity vx and vy. Upon finding vx and vy, we take the inverse arc tangent vy over vx and we can find the angle which is 33.05 degree. Hope you enjoy our short video. Thanks for listening.